This video is the first in a two-part series describing the process of using an HMS computed hydrograph as an upstream boundary condition for a geisha model. The purpose of the geisha model is to predict the pond levels in ponds adjacent to the Hubble Creek in Springville, Utah. Estimating the levels of these ponds in the early spring and summer months is critical to predicting the impact of extreme restoration in this area on the recovery of an endangered fish called a June sucker. In this first video, we will use WMS to develop an HMS model of the Hubble Creek watershed. The hydrograph that is developed will be used in the Hubble Creek Restoration Part 2 video as the inflow for a geisha model. To delineate a watershed and compute geometric and hydrologic information necessary to run HMS, we will begin by loading in a digital elevation model or DEM, three background images, land use and source data. We will then run tau DEM to compute the flow accumulations. Flow accumulations can be used to show the probable locations of streams on the DEM. Tau DEM allows multiple CPU cores to be utilized when calculating flow accumulations. Because the flow accumulations did not correctly define the location of the stream in one section of the model, part of the stream can be manually redirected based on an area photograph of the study area. This can be done by using the map module to draw the correct location of the stream. Next, we will define the basin. And delineate the watershed. The most downstream node of the stream arc we created will become the watershed outlet. To set up the HMS model, we will use the hydrologic wizard. We will set up the model to run for 48 hours. We will then use WMS to create the land use and soil type coverages from the land use and soil type ship files. Next, we'll use a Compute GIS Attributes feature to calculate the weighted curve number for our watershed.
and use WMS to calculate the basin lag time. We will set up the HMS properties, including the loss rate and transform methods. For the precipitation, we'll use a 1.5 inch type 2 24 hour storm. We will then clean up the model. and save the HMS file. Next, we'll open the project in HMS and compute the results. Finally, we'll copy the outflow hydrograph data into a spreadsheet. This hydrograph data will be used in the Hubble Creek Restoration Part 2 video as an inflow boundary condition for a Geisha model.